An emotional night at the Folsom Rodeo as a Marine injured in Afghanistan makes an incredible entrance, bringing the crowd to their feet, roaring with applause. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marley Ginter. Our news also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. On this 4th of July weekend, a powerful patriotic scene in Folsom with a strong message from a local Marine's family. So thank you and the tradition of the Folsom Pro Rodeo. Let's rodeo. A single moment at the Folsom Rodeo, months in the making for Marine Corps Sergeant Tyler Vargas Andrews. It's, it's cool to see that there's other there's other people who care. There's other people who uh, other patriotic Americans uh, in the country who just you know from. I mean, I think I probably got letters or phone calls from just about every state in the U.S. It's been a long road to recovery for the 24-year-old, the most severely injured of 18 Marines caught in a suicide bombing at the Kabul airport last August. I was in a giant cast um, with like a foam block around it and uh, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't move. It was, I mean, it was, uh, I think that, that, was a, that was a hard thing for me just being stuck. Sergeant Vargas Andrews lost his right arm and left leg. He's had 43 surgeries to repair multiple organs, including a lacerated liver and a hole in his bladder from shrapnel. But while Tyler heals his body, others have to heal their minds. His family now pushing for more mental health support for military members. They're hurting, and they carry it and often in silence because they don't have the physical injuries. And they're the ones that are hurting often the most because the ones with the physical are usually getting the treatment and the help. So, After all, the same blast that wounded Tyler killed 13 fellow Marines, including Sergeant Nicole G. from Roseville. Lost too soon, but clearly not forgotten. I know and, and respect that just even talking about the situation makes it extremely emotional. So. The support um, of communities and whatnot to to be strong in the beginning, but you know they it dies off very quickly, and uh, you know those those 13 families and their friends of those 13, uh, they're never going to forget it. <clears throat> you know, hopefully, hopefully, the rest of the world won't either. Sergeant Tyler Vargas. It's clear his community hasn't forgotten the crowd erupting in cheers at the Folsom Rodeo as Tyler showed his hometown he's still going strong. I'm missing half my organs and half my limbs, and uh, you know I hope I hope I can show show people you know there's no there's no reason not to go be successful in your own life. Wow, he is such an inspiration. He's always wanted to open a gym, but says now he'll make it an adaptive gym to give back to his community. And that's not his only goal. He's also planning to train for the Paralympics, both in weightlifting and shooting. Can't wait to follow his journey.